What's up? Quartering, internet's busiest comic book nerd, stolen from the comment section, here to share what is actually some really disturbing details in the Stanley case. We've obtained, I've obtained the um, actual restraining order thanks to your boy Wheels, so I thank you for sending that to me. I'm still looking for the court documents that... Uh, for the Kurt Eichenwald case, please uh, send that to my email address, boys and girls. Um, Got to get this video done. I'm leaving for business today. But I wanted to share some of the details about um, the case. Uh, I want to show you first that we have the actual, okay, we have the actual event. Now, I don't want to go through like every specific thing in here because some of it's like personal information and I don't really care. Um, I don't care that it's public record. I, I just don't really want to uh, sh go through all that. So I'm going to go to the point where um, Stan Lee and his, and his defense team had uh, told basically the court why they needed a order of protection from Kia Morgan. And that is where it gets insane. Let's put it that way. He is not allowed to come within 100 yards of Stanley. Uh, and among other things, they also share his uh, false police report uh, criminal record in the same document. I don't know if we'll go over that too. It's really not... I mean, I guess it goes to talk about the state of the mind of this guy, uh, how uh, desperate he was to um, control Stanley and to keep people out of his life. Um, so I want to share with, here we go, starting now, statement of facts. Stan, Mr. Stan Lee is 95 years old. By the way, I heard that Kevin Smith has been public um, uh, offering to let Stan live with him. Now, if I was 95 years old and living in my own house, I don't know that I would take him up on this. But shout out to Kevin Smith for uh, raising attention to this. Hopefully, um, maybe one day he'll retweet one of these videos. Who knows? But uh, I appreciate him. Uh, standing up tall for Stan Lee. Hopefully, uh, Stan will take him, take him up on it because it doesn't seem like he has a lot of people he can trust. He's 95 years old and has severe hearing and vision impairments. He uses 24-hour nursing care to assist with his activities of daily living. Mr. Lee has recently exhibited short-term memory impairment, impaired judgment, and an inability to resist undue influence. Look, the guy's 95. Let's not shit on him. Uh, we can all pray to whatever spaghetti monster we want to be uh, at the faculties he has at 95. Um, given there are multiple allegations of financial elder abuse, no one has clear legal authority to act on Lee's behalf. Mr. Lee has a large estate worth over $50 million and therefore is a vulnerable to financial predators. There are multiple ongoing criminal investigations regarding allegations. The LAPD and the Adult Protective Services have observed that Mr. Lee has short-term memory impairment and is heavily influenced by respondent Kia Morton. See attached police report. Petitioner Mr. Tom Peter Lallis, this is his lawyer, was Mr. Lee's attorney from 2017 until 2018. Mr. Lee hired Lallis to assist with various legal matters including estate planning issues, disputes with persons who misuse powers of attorney to Mr. Lee's detriment or otherwise perpetrated to act on behalf of Mr. Lee without Mr. Lee's authorization. Effects to recover documents, personal property that had been removed from Mr. Lee's home without Mr. Lee's authorization, and various litigation and corporate matters, uh, including the matters involving POW Entertainment and a class action with respect thereto. In February 28, Mr. Lawless was terminated as Mr. Lee's attorney and prevented from contacting Mr. Lee by phone or email. The respondent, Kia Morton, a memorabilia collector who inserted himself into Mr. Lee's life as his caregiver following the passing of Mr. Lee's wife in July 27, took control of Mr. Lee's home 
in February 15th, on February 15th, 2018. This is where it gets really, really diabolical. He hired a security team and made household decisions. On February 16th, Mr. Lawless was informed by a new attorney that Mr. Lee had fired him. After Mr. Lawless made many failed attempts to contact Mr. Lee directly, he reached out to law enforcement to conduct a welfare check on behalf of Mr. Lee. Petitioner, along with law enforcement and APS, believes that Mr. Morgan is unduly influencing Mr. Lee as well as isolating him. The LAPD became involved when Mr. Lee then went uh, with Mr. Lee when Mr. Morgan made a financial elder abuse report against Lee's former business partner in December 2017. Since then, Mr. Morgan has instructed security to deny family members or other members who have helped Mr. Lee in the past access to Mr. Lee. Family members that have been unable to contact Mr. Lee by telephone. Additionally, Mr. Morgan has forced out all of Mr. Lee's staff, including nurses, security personnel, to sign non-disclosure agreements. These agreements have prevented staff from sharing their concerns um, on behalf of Mr. Lee. Mr. Morgan also moved Mr. Lee from his longtime family home to a condominium. This is this is insane. This is this is crazy. Hang them high. That's what I say. Sorry. It takes a special kind of monster to do this to an elderly person. Uh, and and where and you know what uh, Ethan Van Skyver said it last night. This is the state of comics, by the way. Before I continue, before I before I continue, okay. If I know about this. And the viewers, all of you, we know about all of this. This is a state of comics right now where they're more concerned about, you know, turning Iceman gay and making statements about this or that than protecting a national treasure like Stan Lee, the last really icon in comics that we have. Where is where is everybody? Where the fuck is everybody? Why why are there so few people reporting on this on, on just on like YouTube or in main or in main uh um, news outlets. Where are the, the executives of Marvel? Right? Where are you guys? On May 30th, law enforcement and APS performed a welfare check on Mr. Lee. Upon their arrival, they advised the security guards who they were, that they needed a private interview with Mr. Lee. And to refuse entry by anyone until they concluded the interview. During the interview, Mr. Morgan arrived at Mr. Lee's home. The security guards told Mr. Morgan that Mr. Lee was with detectives. Mr. Morgan then made a false 911 call claiming that there were three unidentified burglary suspects in his 95-year-old friend's home, who he had locked everyone out of the house. Who had locked everyone out. Additional law enforcement were dispatched to Mr. Lee's home. Later on May 30th, after security guard refused to sign an NDA, Mr. Morgan made a second 911 call falsely accusing that security guard of assault with a deadly weapon against himself and Mr. Lee. LAPD determined the allegations in these two calls were fabricated. On June 11th, Mr. Morgan was arrested for the crime of false reporting of emergency at the condominium where he had relocated Mr. Lee. That same day, LA County Superior Court issued an emergency protective order. <laughs> Finally, a lot of you big comics channels and big comics artists, a lot of you people in the movie industry that have made billions on the backs of Stan Lee's creations should be ashamed of yourselves. It took it, it took, I mean, basically, eventually the cops just had to take care of it. Uh, see attached. Mr. Morgan was released on bond, which was like $20,000, I think. The night of June 11th, the emergency protective order will expire June 13th at 5 p.m. Mr. Lee was taken back to his home. Petitioner seeks to ask for a temporary elder abuse restraining order to continue to protect Mr. Lee once the emergency protective order expires. This was granted, by the way. Petitioner is concerned that Mr. Morgan will again tried to remove Mr. Lee from his home using his influence to isolate and unduly influence Mr. Lee. Elder abuse and restraining orders are created by part and part of the remedies under the Elder Abuse Dependent Adult Protection Act. Um, we can go through this 
we know what EDPCA is. We know what all this stuff is. Uh, here, Mr. Morgan's behavior, including but not limited to isolation, undue influence, places Mr. Well Lee's well-being at risk. He has been denied contact with family members and other individuals that he has known and trusted over the years. Mr. Morgan relocated Mr. Lee from his family home to an unfamiliar environment without notifying relatives of his whereabouts. Mr. Morgan has an upcoming hearing on July 2nd in a criminal court. Protective orders are necessary in the interim to prevent further abuse of by Mr. Morgan. And we see... Um, this is the man requesting it. We already know all this stuff. And uh, there's some other interesting things here. This is the confirm that it was served. Probable cause of arrest warrant. Uh, we see that. And then we see, I believe, the investigation. Yep, here we go. Suspect K. Morgan is an associate of Elder S. Lee, 95, who resides at... Oh, shit. <laughs> well, don't don't fuck with them. Morgan is the person reporting another crime, grand theft by trick or device, where he alleges financial elder abuse of Stan Lee by one of Lee's former business associates investigating. Um, I guess we don't really have to go through this. Um, we see the investigation here as indicated by the attachment transcript of this radio call from 911. Recording obtained from the communications division, Morgan reported to 911 operator that there were three, quote, unidentified, and we know they were identified. We know he knew who they were, who had gone inside his home. Um, this is insane. Um, in part of his communication with 911, Morgan stated that the security guards does not know who they are, although he, he did. Very scary to me that neither he or I knows who they are. He was trying to disrupt. So basically, he knew the jig was up, and... He was trying to somehow interrupt it. That's how disgusting and how devious this man was. Hang him high. And, and a lot of you in the comic industry uh, and the higher ups that have made billions. Using him for his cameos. All of you actors who know and say you love him. Where were you?